Boys and girls, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Ironically, this is the video that would have been posted last week when my PC died, so we're kind of picking up, like, where I left off, in a sense, just a week later and a lot of upgrades and stuff that have happened. The last week has been wild for me, in a lot of different ways that are kind of boring. I can't go faster than I'm going. I think I'm over-encumbered. Last episode, we did stuff for Red Lucy. I don't remember what the quest is called. Actually, I just lied. It's called Bleed Me Dry. We completed that... Uh, uh, we romanced Red Lucy. We did insane things in the name of being horny. I need to get whatever is over encumbering me out of my inventory. All right, the, the hunting shotgun that Red Lucy gave us was weighing us down significantly. So in a previous video I posted, we went to the fort, we killed everybody at the fort, and we 1v1 Caesar with a power fist we picked up and we became the leader of Caesar's Legion. Today, I said we're going to be doing the opposite. Technically, we are. We're going to be going to Camp McCarran and just slaying every NCR person that exists in the camp and whatever happens happens except not really because it's going to be an alternate universe where evil tuck takes control and we just do that because like I've said before I don't really want to do anything that impacts my main story progression and believe it or not despite what's happening today this is an NCR playthrough so I came to the gun runners to stock up on some ammo Welcome, sir or madam. So I gotta keep in mind that the NCR is an army, so naturally they're going to have armor. So I'm gonna try to get as much stuff that can combat armor as possible. I do have a fat man. I don't think I want to abuse the fat man, because, like, I could just load up on mini nukes and then it would be over in no time whatsoever, but for the sake of content, I don't think... I'm gonna do that. I might save the one mini nuke I do have for someone special. Who's that gonna be? I don't know. Maybe the chef. Do we mini nuke the chef? I think we mini nuke the chef for no reason other than I just thought of it and it sounds funny. All right, then as far as armor goes, it's not anything different than what I was using last time. I have Joshua Graham's armor on, I have the rebreather, and then I have the first recon beret. So we're not going in with anything super OP in terms of armor. Maybe somebody out there thinks Joshua Graham's armor is the best armor in the game. I just, I'm using it because my combat armor Mark II broke and I am literally too broke to uh, repair it. So, and then of course, Drop a save so we don't, like, hard lock ourselves out of the ending we want. Even though we just save, let's check and make sure it's actually there. Alright, so save 67 is the go back button. So, with that said, let's get a little bit of distance from the guy at the main gate so I can pick my favorite weapon I want to run. Hold it out. Let's not start off with the anti-material rifle. We have all American. Let's swap to only have 18 armor piercing rounds in this thing. Did I not just buy ammo? Am I dumb? Let's start off with Paciencia. There's probably a patrol somewhere, but I don't know where they are. Just one guy to beat so far, so. Kaboom. He's dead. All right. The... Yeah. Immediately. Immediately, my status has went down. Now let's go through the main gate and immediately hook a left, I think. Oh, they're not even aggro. They just... Okay. They're just fine that I murdered somebody at the front gate. All right, that gives me some time to scope out the situation then. Who do I have to worry about? There's a yellow person here. Who's here? Oh, he's up on the wall. All right, yeah, we're just going to go through it. Dead. Dark hero. Dead. Dead. Passientia surprisingly does a lot of damage to these guys. Alright, I lied. Is that sandbox? Is hitbox that big or am I just straight up missing? Dude, okay. Alright, we come back to Major Daughtry at some point, I guess. Maybe armor piercing rounds are just a lie. Alright, so it's going to keep going down. They're not coming after me in as much force as I thought they would. Dude. 
how wow chat how big are the hitboxes for these places i guess the developers never thought i'd be doing this so they like didn't account for it i actually got super lucky because i did the part of the game where the first recon beret snipers or the first recon snipers are gone so i don't have to worry about them dude do these oh no do these guys not realize that i'm doing what i'm doing oh they're all sleeping I couldn't have picked a better time to do it. All right, I'm gonna get rid of some 5.56 five, ammo. Check your fire. Check your fire. Nah, I'm okay, dude. Uh -huh. no. what have you done? All right, they're all mad. They are so mad at me right now. Like they are uh -huh. comically levels of mad at me. No. Murderer. Yep, that's me, murderer. The one thing I didn't do before I did this is I did not buy anything healing-wise, so... We might have to pick some stuff up as we go, but that's okay. That's how the game works. I just need stuff to fuel my murder rampage. I don't know why I'm looting the ammo. It's for an ammo type I'm not going to use. And I'm just going to revert to the save where I didn't do this anyway. Dude, seriously, none of you guys have healing. Not a single one of you's carrying a stim pack? Like, is it just because you're not a medic? Whatever, sure. There's somebody stuck in that tent. Anybody there? Nope. <laughs> Good shots. You got me. I need to loot the medical tent, wherever that may be. Who are you? Why are you not fighting? Are you the mercenary dude? Who are you? Hey, Doc. I mean, unfortunately for you, you're not aggro, but you gotta die, buddy. I'm sorry. Take that purified water off your hands, though. You didn't want to fight back. I'm sorry, but for the sake of this video, you're... you're dying. Medical tent? I need a healing. Dude, one stim pack? All right, I guess I just overestimated how much healing the NCR military would have. There's, like, no stim packs anywhere. I will drink all four of those purified waters I picked up. Can I use the chemistry set? Nope. All right, fantastic. There is a strange lack of healing items in the medical tent. Whatever, though. Let me scale the top of the wall. Make sure I didn't miss anybody. It doesn't look like it. So before we go in, we're actually going to pop a bunch of drugs to make this a little bit more fun. All the healing items are not in the medical tent. They're in the storage shed. That's... Sure, okay. All right, so let's go through the stuff I have. We have buff out, we'll take that. I'll take medics. I'll take a milserp review. I'll take a psycho. And now we're gonna be geared up for some extra war. Let's head inside and let's pick a corner to go in so we don't go into the middle of it at all. Oh, there are heavy troopers here and they don't know about me. You guys are really bad at communicating. However, though, since there are heavy troopers, later. You dirty coward! Help me out! Murderer. Yeah. They killed her. That's definitely me. Alright, you're just. Yeah, just getting jumpy, I guess. Alright, Colonel Shu wants to know about it. He shouldn't have. Maybe I just jumped. Unfortunately, you're a non-combatant, but I said everybody's dying, although you are giving me a proper aim training session at the moment. Come on! Alright, let's just keep it going. Dr. Hildern? I, I really don't like you, bro, so... I didn't need a reason to do that, other than I just don't like you. This guy finally decided he wanted to hop into the action. Thank you for playing. Remember, guys, no Russian. Guards on duty? Nope. After this is done, I'm taking the train for myself. Realistically, that's all I'm doing this for is because... I just really like trains. Okay. Yep, for sure. What am I hitting, other than not them? Hello? Whoa, whoa. 
What was that? I think those guys are broken. They're in a different universe. They're in a different load zone. How did you guys not, like... You know what? It never made sense to me how the NCR was getting their ass beat by the Legion. I get it now. Wow, you might be the strongest soldier in this building. All right, doesn't matter. Anybody in the cells? Nope. However, there is this guy. You are the wrong person. You're who I need. Never mind. You don't even have keys to the thing. All right, though. I don't need a reason to kill this guy other than I just... Requires key, but where's the key? You know what? You might live on a, on a loophole because there's no key to get in there. I could console command it open, but... I don't think that's a good idea. Door inaccessible? Okay, for sure. All right. The Legion prisoner gets to live, I guess. All right, let's go up into the main concourse now, or do we? Do we go out to the courtyard? Let's go out to the courtyard. Because there's not that many people out here, and then we'll come back in. Because we got to save our special nuke for the last dude. And of course, these guys are clueless as to what's going on. What's up, bro? I missed, I guess. Later. Armor piercing Passientia might be a little bit of a cheat code. But at the same time, like, these hitboxes are stupid, so... It might be okay. Like, how do I not hit this guy? He pulled out a knife. The guy in the sniper tower pulled out a knife. That's the kind of training these guys go through. What just wore off? Medics? I right, for sure. Get some health back before we go back to work. These guys in the guard towers are kind of clueless. Like, it's definitely a hardware limitation, but like, come on. I thought the NCR put up a little bit more of a fight. There's a back door here anyway. Oh, what's up, bro? I didn't think you actually were up there. Actually, that guy... I can't take the risk. I don't want him to do more damage to me. I was going to say, he might just walk off that tower, but... He did not. And again, the render distances are so big in this game, in this part of the world, that, like... There's just... There's no communication. The radios just aren't working, I guess. There's a guy up there, right? I don't want to get ambushed, but at the same time, I don't want to wait for him to look. All right. His perception is horrible, for sure. That... Maybe everybody. I don't know if we can get into the tower. We'll go up there and check it, I guess. I don't think there's anybody in here. No, he's dead. Does he... How did we do that? Did we kill him? I don't remember. Oh, 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 he's up there. <gasps> wasn't expecting you to be up there, bro. I had a feeling you might be up there, but I was not expecting you to actually be there. I didn't want to believe it would be true. I cannot remember. I thought we took the diplomatic situation with him. Maybe he's just scripted to die. I don't remember. Or maybe we kill... Do we... I don't remember. I know if we go talk to Colonel Shu before we deactivate the bomb, monorail, train go boom. For people that played Black Ops 3. I don't remember if we talk to him if the monorails... If trains still go boom. So. Whatever. Um, let's go back the way we came. As one does. Let's actually take the back way. See if this door is actually unlocked and take the back way into the terminal. Where are you at, bro? I know you're corrupt. Contreras? Thanks for playing. 
What was that? What was that? I gained karma for that. I knew he was involved with some shady things. I didn't think he was actually like an evil character as far as the game was concerned, but whatever. Into the concourse we go. We get to pick a new victim because again, zero communication through the NCR military. None of them know that I'm a bad guy. All right, so we got to be careful. We got to save the chef for the mini nuke. No way you're coming after me with a knife. Oh, oh God. Okay, they, these boys came to play. I found them. I found the ones I should be afraid of. Pardon me one second, gentlemen. All right, let's swap weapons back to the assault car by now that we've calmed it down a little bit. I don't think the chef is an actual, like, person that'll start fighting back. So I, nope, nope, he is. All right. Please don't run at me, dude. I have special plans for you. Big things planned. Please don't do what you're doing. He picked up a gun. He's going to force my hand. All right, dude, I really didn't want to do this, but you're being a weirdo. So make sure he's out in the open. That's 2% chance. I just please go through the doorway. And Farber is no longer with us. All for the tasty big price of 5 XP for a mini nuke. Worth for the content. And the best part is I don't think anyone else died because I would have got more than 5 XP. You guys are, like, so cute that you think you can take me down. Granted, I did cheat C doodle a slight, a slight, slight, slight amount by using explosive rounds, but I had to thin out the herd. You guys were going way too crazy. Whatever, take two more super stim packs. What worse can happen? That begs the question, is that everybody? I wanted Farber to be, like, the last dude that we did, but... I'm... Wait, pause. I wanted Farber to be the final boss, but... He kind of forced my hand, and he was the third to last enemy I killed. That might be everybody, because if I go through these doors, we're just back at the main terminal. And unless I just straight up missed somebody, the only place I didn't check was, like, the monorail. There's a slight chance we might have missed somebody in a guard tower outside, but if we clear the monorail part out here and there's no one here... Nope, there is no one here. And with that... I guess we have successfully taken down everybody that would be in Camp McCarran. I could take it a step further if I wanted to. I could take the monorail to the NCR station at the Strip, but at the end of the day, that wasn't the objective. The objective was Camp McCarran. We know Russianed it, and we know Russianed the hell out of it. So let's take a final walk around some of the open areas to see if there's anybody I might have missed. See if anybody pops in to render if I take some looks around. I don't think so. The way Camp McCarran is laid out, there's more enemies here than there would have been at the fort. Just because the fort is one big open area, then you have Caesar's Tent. Camp McCarran is technically divided into three, four areas if you want to count the uh, supply shed that Con Contreras lives in. There is some poor soul out here that just didn't get the memo. Who are you? Literally just an unnamed trooper that I guess was taking a nap and survived the initial bombardment. First recons at Camp Forlorn Hope. Now we've got a chance to hold it. Okay, good story. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. I was hoping you would have said that. So... I guess it's a good thing I came back out here to take a second look or else I would have technically lied. There was one guy out here that just, he was there. All right, though, as I make my way back to the front to get a thumbnail opportunity, I don't have any super cool trophies to take. 
Like, whenever I beat Caesar, I took his outfit and I sat on his throne. I don't think there's anywhere I could go in Camp McCarran that would make for a funny I did it final moment. Like I said, my motivation for this entire thing is that I wanted the monorail. I own the monorail now, so that's what we got out of it. I don't know. As fun as, as fun as it is to let the intrusive thoughts win sometimes, it's just not a decision we can live with, especially considering I'm a good in CR boy in like my canon playthrough. So hope you guys enjoyed the return to content. Hope you guys enjoyed the return to follow New Vegas. I'll try not to take an extended week long break next time, if at all possible. Couldn't really control either of the circumstances that stopped me from posting the last week and a half, but it is what it is. That is Cam McCarran been taken over by some dude with way too many guns and way too much Trust from the NCR because they were just letting me walk through open areas after I just massacred their friends. So if you enjoyed this episode, please consider liking and subbing down below. If you want to watch the videos where I don't talk in them, check out my third channel, No Commentary Tuck. And until next time, boys and girls, a pizza.